What's up you guys? It's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a couple of spreads in my Skinny Classic Planner using the Plan Anything Fall Books, so stay tuned for a fun plan with me. autumn and autumn days here to start out with and this is actually a fitness skinny classic but the only thing fitness in it is just like the, the dividers and the cover so I've been using it as my on-the-go planner so I want to decorate a spread in September for fall so let's do this first week of fall and I'm going to do another one also Okay, I love decorating this planner. So I've got Cozy Autumn and Fantastic Fall. You can always use the code MICHELLE10 to save 10% off on your Plan Anything orders. And I always appreciate your support when you shop through that link at no extra cost to you. So let's see which, I think I wanna use Fantastic Fall first. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Okay, let's do, I like these big leaves. Let's do this over in the notes section. Hmm. Do we want to do these corners? Actually, let's do it over here because the other corner is a little larger. Let's see. Should I do it up here? I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to white out the 2024. And put it right up here. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see, what else do I wanna use with that? Let's use some of these like leaves and mushrooms. Let's get this yellow leaf. Do that there. And then we'll use the rest of this up here. Okay, that's cute. And let's see, let's get these little berries. right over here and let's do an acorn just kind of hanging out right here and we'll do the other one on the other side like that. And let's get a red leaf. Let's do this that has three smaller leaves. Let's 
do that there and we'll do some of the other over on the other side. Let's do the rest right here. And then I have one more. I'm gonna do it up here. Then this tiny scrap up at the top here. Let's just do a little bit on each line. I think that's cute, like it's just tucked in there, popping up or falling down. So we'll do this here by the acorn. I think maybe we need to move this up a little bit because it's red, move it away from that. And then, because I want to put a leaf up here too and I didn't want it to look just like this. So we'll do this here. this here. Then let's get a little bit over here. We can do, we'll do this smaller red leaf. And then we'll be done except for like quotes in our function. Okay, so that looks cute. I think, I think this needs a little bit of a leaf by it also. Here's what we'll do. We'll trim this into two parts and put a little bit on each side of it so it looks like it's just nestled in between the leaves. And let's go ahead and use the rest of that there. And we'll use this here. Okay, oh, I love it. Let's do autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Right here. And then let's do a quote over here. Let's do a quote from Autumn Days. We'll do this little Hello Fall with the pumpkins. That's super cute. I think I'm gonna cut the little pumpkins off because I feel like they take away from the other illustrations. And then trim it into two different lines. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's do some circles and boxes just to mix it up. Let's do, is there any green? Yeah, there's a little green in here. We'll do this circle, half of it on Monday. Do the other half of that circle over on Saturday right here with this little box and this. Okay, and let's do this here. With the, with the tan circle. Like that. And we'll do the rest of it over here. Okay, now let's drop off just a few bullet points. 
just do orange. Let's do, let's do a couple here. Or let's do the orange in like the russet color. And we'll do a couple on Thursday over here though. And on Friday, think we really need any on Sunday. Let's do a box here for just some notes. Or reminders. I think I'm going to pair this with this also. And we'll go ahead and add a couple for Sunday. Okay, let's get some black words. Let's put do this here and let's do don't forget in this green box. And today, right here, and then we'll do get it done right here. Okay, so that's going to be that spread. And I think what I want to do is flip over to October and do a, like a Halloween spread. So I grabbed spooky season. We'll do this week in October. See how fun and easy to decorate these are? I love them. Okay, what do we want to use? Let's see. Let's do some of these, like this haunted house. I'm gonna do it right here. Let's do this little fence beside it, just like that. And then one of these trees. And let's put this tree right here, but I'm gonna trim around the house. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do this tree here. And we'll do these birds. We'll just make this entire part decorative. That is such a cute little scene, I love it. Okay, and then let's also do a tree over on the other side maybe a shorter tree. Let's do this here. With that little tree. And we'll do that bat there. Let's do this here. And 
that little scrap there. Got this little bat right there, we'll do that. And then we need some flowers down here in the corner. Okay, so let's do a spider web and flowers up here. Perfect, we'll do this. I like this here either. So I'm going to move that. And I'm going to move the house and the tree up to Monday, I think. Since the bats are up there, I think that'll be cuter. Let's do just a little bit of this up here. That way all four of the corners kind of balance. Let's do this here. over here and then I've got another scrap also and then I've got a scrap there okay and let's get some boxes we'll do let's do this on Tuesday and then we'll do an orange and a purple on Friday Okay, and let's do let's scoot this down a little bit and I'm gonna put a box with it to go on to Wednesday. Then I can use a little bit of a spider web action. And let's use this little skeleton. Let's use him standing right there. With that black box there. Then we'll use the rest of that there. Okay, and we'll do this here. And I pulled this moon out of an older Plenty Things sticker book from last year, but I just think it's gonna look so cute up there by the bats. And now all I wanna do is add a quote. I'm just gonna add one quote right here, and I will use this boo, B-O-O. -O. I 
I think I'm going to cut it apart and do it like this. Okay, and I just want to add bullet points and I want to do the purple and the orange, the most vibrant colors. Okay, so we'll do we'll do the orange and then the purple and then I'll get a couple here. And over here. Okay, and I want a little bit more flowers coming out of this circle because it just looks kind of plain there. And then we're gonna, gonna be good to go except for black words. All right, let's add this here. Get a few black words. Let's do these I found on just like Cricut Access. I just searched planner words, but we need a little something right here. And let's do the plan. Let's get a smaller skinny box in black. Okay, and we'll put the plan right there. And don't forget right here. Okay, now just a few little flags for both spreads and we're good to go. Let's do these darker orange right here. And that's good for that one. And then for this one, let's do this orange. And one over here. All right, those are my two skinny classic spreads. I love how they turned out and I had so much fun decorating them. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.